Welcome back to Theme Park Wizard. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to get to Universal Studios Hollywood in your nearby hotel using LA Metro. Whether you're visiting from out of state or you're living in state, you can easily take the subway to Universal Studios Hollywood and save on that $30 parking for and only pay $1.75 for the Metro. It's super easy, super convenient, and it's actually the most transit accessible theme parks in Southern California. First, first, I'm going to show you how to get there from three different ways, the valley, the city, and if you're coming in from the airport, and then I'll explain the logistics of how to ride the LA Metro. All right, so first, if you come from the San Fernando Valley, this is from Woodland Hills in Eastward, you can easily park at one of the G-Line, aka Orange Line stations here, and you can see right here on the map, um, goes from the Chatsworth Metrolink station all the way down to North Hollywood station and meets up with the subway. You can park and ride along one of those stations, it's $1.75 with two hours of free transfers. You park there, you ride the Orange Line, it takes about what maybe 40 minutes at most to go from the Chatsworth station to North Hollywood station then you transfer to the subway the red line aka the B line take it from one North Hollywood to Universal City that's one stop and then you're there you just cross the pedestrian bridge and then the Universal has a tram that'll take you from the station all the way up to the theme park and Conversely, if you're coming from the city, which is, I feel like that's where most of the people are coming from, um, due to simply when I leave at closing time, a lot of people are trying to get on the 101 going towards Hollywood and downtown versus the valley. So if you're coming from the city, if you're coming along Ho Hollywood, you just take the B line, red line, all the way up to the station, Universal City Station, and then take the tram on up. If you're coming from Pasadena, you take the gold line, which is now renamed the L line, or sorry, the, got renamed again, the A line. Take that, crisscross at 7th Street Metro Center in downtown to the red line, and take that all the way to, again, Universal City Station. Super, super easy, super convenient. If you're coming from Long Beach, you just take a light rail up, again, the A line, up to 7th Street Metro, transfer to um, the red line and take it all the way up. I'm going to call them by the the colors because they LA Metro just did a whole renaming to letters. So I'm just going to call them by the colors the, the lines are because that's it's just a little easier. So if you're going from Santa Monica, you take the E line, which is the gold line now, and to 7th Street Metro, transfer to the red line. And you can do that also for East LA. So basically, no matter where you're coming from in the city, if you're near a rail line, you take that to 7 Street Metro Center, which is right in downtown Los Angeles. You transfer right down to the red line, not the D line. There's the, the B and D, red and purple lines. The purple line will go towards um, Museum Row on Wilshire Boulevard. And then the red line is the one you want to take. That goes right up to Universal Studios Hollywood. Now, if you're an out-of-towner and you're wondering where to go, you don't, your hotels may be in Hollywood, or you maybe got um, the Hilton, right? The Hilton or the Sheraton, which is which are right next to the park. You're wondering, should you rent a car? What do you what do? you do? Well, super easy peasy. And once again, from the airport, you take the K-Line shuttle. You want to take the shuttle to the Aviation and, uh, what's it called? Aviation Century Station, where you can meet up with the K-Line, which is, uh, I'm not sure, it's kind of like a purplish color. It's the newest rail line here, but the K line. You take the K line to the E line, and then you continue again to 7G Metro Center, take it up, take that up to the station, Universal City Station, and up to your hotel. And they have again shuttles from the airport to that K line station, so you'll be able to go ahead and do then also the C line, but that you don't need that. Um, so you're able to take it right, take Metro right from the airport to your hotel. Well, what about fares? You know, you're like theme park wizard. You know, you're saying take all these lines, but how do I use them? Well, very easy. If you want to go and park right at the station, if you're local and you park and ride at the station, you can go ahead and get a tap card at one of the tap vending machines there. Tap cards are a dollar and then rides are a dollar seventy five per, per uh per ride for two hours of free transfers per person and then you can also if you have an apple or apple iphone or apple wallet 
um, and probably on, maybe on Google too, but I know at least on Apple, you can go and get your tap card on your phone. You can make your ad money to the tap card on your phone and your Apple wallet under transit. It's super cool. And it lists all the transit agencies in the, around the world that are accepted in this program. And there's only three of them in the United States. One of them's here in Los Angeles. You can make, get your tap card on your phone and then just tap your phone along the gates and get on the subway, which would be great. Yeah. Definitely take advantage of Universal's easy transit accessibility or easy relative to the other theme parks here. Transit accessibility. Also, if you want to take a break from Universal and you're staying around the area, you can take that same red line to attractions on Hollywood. It takes you to Hollywood and Highland, see the Walk of Fame and the Pantages, or the El Capitan Theater. It takes you to Hollywood and Vine, you see the Pantages Theater and other Hollywood landmarks right along that same red line. And it's only a cup, one or two stops depending on which station you go to from Universal Studios Hollywood. So that's it for this quick video on how to take transit to Universal. Yeah, it's very little bit of a different video here. There's some tips and tricks here. And yeah, definitely if you're, or whether you're coming from out of town or you're in town and you just don't want to sit in traffic, you definitely want, might want to try it on one time. Transit to Universal Studios and you know what? You may love it and you may recommend it to friends. If you like these types of videos, Press that thumbs up button, subscribe for more theme park updates and more tips and tricks, and as always, have a tram-tastic day.